so I thought the best thing I could do for American youth would be to start a leadership school where we could really develop some real outdoor leaders. It's a new kind of education. It may be a sort of a, uh, a trend towards the future. Of course, we want them to come away with their technical ability to be able to carry out a lifetime recreational need for themselves or to be able to lead other people in a lifetime recreational need. Or we want them to have the education to be leaders in their community with an understanding of ecology and conservation for the wild outdoors far beyond their legislators at home. We expect these people to be a grain of sand on the beach of future leadership. Beyond that, from an individual standpoint, we know what they get. Uh, the main thing is that they get to understand themselves out here, where there's no bluffing, there's no veneer, the background doesn't count, they have to deliver, they can't rationalize, they have to face themselves. So maybe for the first time in their life, they not only see their own strengths, but they see their own weaknesses. The kids nowadays are for real. They want reality. They don't want phoniness. They don't want to be lectured to. They want to really find themselves. And on our expeditions where we're out for 35 continuous days, here's a society that's absolutely divorced from the rest of the world, where people are not lectured to, they're not poked in the belly every day by their parents or by the law or by the professor, telling them what to think and how to think. And here is a realistic situation where they have to do everything for themselves, where they have to work with their hands, they have to make decisions. It's learning 